So a couple weeks back, I changed the door lock actuator motors in my IS300. Just the motors, not the whole actuator, because I read online that you can rebuild the actuators and not have to buy the whole thing. So when I put it back together, something didn't seem right. So I wanted to give it a couple weeks before posting the video to make sure I wasn't going to give you guys bad information that would ruin your cars. Well, it's a couple weeks later, and I've got something to show you guys. Okay, so one by one, these actuators started going bad, and when they do go bad, let me show you what they do. You hear that noise? So what I think that is, is the plastic gears inside are either stripped or the actuator is broken. But uh, before, they didn't used to make any noise, they just didn't work, uh, especially when it get hot. When it gets hot, that's a very common problem on the IS and a lot of Toyota, other Toyotas. So a new actuator itself costs about 100 bucks each from Toyota. I was able to find them on a Facebook group, one of the IS owners groups. The guy was parting two cars, so I got six of them for uh, about 100, 120 bucks shipped. I got six because I'm going to replace all four in this car and in my turbo car there's two of them that also need to be replaced. So we'll be doing that today. So we're going to start out with the passenger side door, front door. Um, I don't have my tripod so the video is going to be a little shaky and I'm going to be on and off but there is two screws you need to take out. You got two Phillips heads, one in here, one in here. You want to pop this little tweeter cover off and then once you take these screws out you're gonna to wanna to pop this uh, little plastic piece off here. I'll show you guys how. The trick for this little plastic piece is to pry right here, just like so, and then right here, just like so, and it pops right out. Uh, if you don't pry right where I told you to, you're gonna fight this thing and you might end up breaking it, but if you pry in the right spot, they come out super easy, as you can see. Once you get this plastic piece pulled off, the whole panel should just pop right out. You can. I'm going to need both hands to do it, but there's about, you know, eight or so plastic clips along this edge here. You want to pop those and then uh, lift straight up. Obviously, you're going to have the electrical connections here and here. So make sure you disconnect those and then put your door panel to the side. Okay, once the door panel is off, you're going to have another Phillips screw here, uh, right there. Then you're going to got... You have these two 10 mils, set that aside, and then you're gonna wanna pull back this plastic piece. Um, I'm, you can try to keep it if you, if you want. It helps with sound deadening. So I'm gonna pull that back and then take apart the door panel some more. There's some more 10 mil screws back there. Okay, once you got the panels taken off, I opened up this panel and this panel. You're gonna have three T30, let's see here, yeah, T30 Torx bits here take these off and then you're gonna to want to take off this lower bolt as well and the actuator should be unbolted from then after that you're gonna have some of these the door handle here it's gonna have like these rods that come out of the actuator and it's a pain in the ass to take out so that's gonna be next I'll show you guys how to do that forgot to tell you guys about this bolt down here it actually holds the slide that the window slides up and down on but taking it off gives you some more room to be able to finagle the actuator out so don't forget to put that back in once you do take it out but it definitely helps obviously you have this clip here you want to take the lines out from and the actuator should be uh, able to come out once you get let's see, the camera will show it see this rod here that rod connects to the door handle and you got to unclip that uh, once i get it out i'll show you guys how the assembly works so you guys can see it okay so i got the door handle taken off and just to show you guys how this works, uh, first of all, to get the door handle off, you got one bolt here and another bolt here, and then it kind of pops off, they're both 10 mils. Now, the way this works is this was pushed down, so I pried, pried this up, and then you just wiggle this out, and it comes right out like that. I had to take the door handle off just to be able to show you guys a little bit better how it works. You probably don't need to, but it makes it easier and it's worth it. Uh, it's just two bolts and it makes it easier. You don't want to break this plastic um, clip because it won't work without it. So be careful. So the, this is the actual actuator right here. This is where the little motor is inside of it. The one I got, I got the whole assembly. The guy was nice enough to send me the whole thing. <clears throat> I don't want to have to take apart mine just to swap this plastic piece. So I'm just going to use the whole thing. I had to put my handle on here. These things are super easy. You just pop them out of these clips right here and 
the cables just come in and out. And once I put it back together, of course I tested it, make sure it all works good, and it does. So now it's as simple as putting it back in, and hopefully it works. Okay, so I got the car put back together, and I go to test it, and I'm having the same issue. That's so frustrating. That's literally what I'm trying to replace, or why I'm replacing this. And the parts that were sent to me are also broken. Good thing I paid with PayPal, because I'm going to be getting my money back. So I guess that's going to end our video early. The process is the same for all the other doors. The back doors are even easier because they don't have the actual door handle. They're not connected to it. Uh, the only thing that's different is the driver's door. And it has two of those arms, but it's the exact same process. Uh, the clips work the exact same way. Just got to be a little more careful with them. And that's really it. So... I think I'll make I'll, I'll post a video of me putting in a new motor in those actuators, but you know I'm gonna obviously tell you guys that I don't recommend it because I did it and the actuators were just never the same again. They were kind of I don't know if they're too powerful or what, but yeah. So did a whole lot of nothing today, and I'm kind of frustrated about it. But that's how working on cars with Stan goes. Just nothing ever goes right. If you guys found this at all informative or educational, please, please, please just hit this button right here. It subscribes you to my channel and it lets you know every time I post a new video.